Hey guys, I'm Jordan Sparks, and y'all meet the J and what big crit? Girl Jasmine Sullivan. It's your girl Tiana Taylor. It's your boy Rotate. This is Brandy. Everybody, I'm Erica Campbell, and you're watching. You're watching me. You're watching music exclusive TV. You already know what it is. It's the best in the world. Yeah. Yo, what's happening? It's your boy Lonnie Burrell, and you're watching Music Exclusives TV. Holla at your boy. What's up, y'all? This is your boy, Raldo Austin, and you guys are watching Music Exclusives TV. And right now, I'm with the talented R&B singer himself, <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Lottie B. Real. What's going on, brother? What's up, man? How are you, brother? I'm good, man. You, man, look, you just hit that B.B. King stage. <laughs> no, and you really tore it up. New York Thank is loving you. you. It was cool. Yeah, it was cool. The ladies was loving you. They was feeling your performance. That's dope, man. <laughs> how, does it, how does it feel to um, finally, you know, hit that stage? Was it the first time? of uh, you performing on it? Well, you know, yeah, absolutely it's my first time performing on the stage in New York, yeah. you know, for the Lonnie Burrell show, right. the Alonzo show, you know yeah. what I mean? Uh, you know, uh, it, it was definitely one that um, I was a little nervous about, one that I was focused on, you know, right. New York is important to me. Absolutely. Uh, as every other artist. You know? <laughs> When you say you got that fire, when you say you ready, New York will let you know if you're not. Definitely. You know what? They let you know if you were. You definitely were. You got a really <laughs> good crowd response yeah, tonight. Thank you, man. Thank you, bro. <laughs> so how has it been? Um, you're on a tour right now with 7th Streeter. How has it been, you know, being on the road with her? You know, um, it's been nothing but fun. It's been very easy flow. You right. know, um, me and Seven have known each other for years. Right. So, uh, you know, like brother and sister, literally right. we keep in touch when there are no stages, no lights, right. camera action. You know, me and Seven talk. We go to so y'all true friends. Yeah, yes, y'all like, real true friends. Yeah, her parents, I call them my parents, you know what I mean? Right. And so, uh, you know, they, they're they like another set of parents for me. And right. She's a sister. And just to see her where she is, and you know, it's my job to uplift her, you know, every Absolutely. night. Absolutely. And, and, you know, she she's... She doesn't quite have the tour years that I do. Yeah. So, you know, as her voice gets tired and things like that, I try to help her, you know, just give her some pointers. And, and uh, you know, other than that, we're just having fun, man, and just enjoying, you know, it's a dream come true. You know? Definitely. Uh, me and her have talked about this when we when it was nothing happening. Right, right. You know what I mean? So, uh, so now you finally just yeah, to be on stage. Yeah, it's it's so real. With her, it's just it's a, real. Yeah. yeah. And we're enjoying it. Good. Now, I mean, a lot of people might not know this, but you are uh, really, really good songwriter <laughs> I mean, I'm two time Grammy nominated songwriter man I mean how did it feel when you first like found out that you were nominated for your first Grammy I was like really <laughs> you know, that was the take record right yeah we lost the prince oh yeah and, uh, you know but it it was definitely an experience man yes to, to do the, the red carpet at the Grammys right. and they got to assign a PR to you to make sure all the yeah. pictures come You know, it, it was real cool, man, just to go through the process. And right. I'm looking forward to doing it again for myself. Right. Actually winning, you know what I mean? And, Absolutely. Uh, it, 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 it was a definite experience that, right. you know, I, I want to do again. Nice. Mm -hmm. I mean, you. I'm pretty sure you're gonna have. Obviously, you're gonna have the chance to do it again. Yeah. You know what I mean, you you wrote for a lot, a lot of names so far, and it's it's been working out. So I'm not gonna stop. And of course, can't yeah. stop. Won't you know, stop. Just gotta, <laughs> it's, it's just a little tight, tighter schedule happening. You know what I mean? But uh, you know, to those artists that need this fire. Right. You know what I mean? We we'll, we can we can schedule it or arrange it. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna stop, man. I, I love this music. You know, some of this is for me, and, and some of it's gonna be for other artists. Mm -hmm. Good. So, um, you come from a family of musical background. Yeah. Um, your cousins are songwriters. Oh uh, yeah, some of them. Yeah. Are. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. uh, did they influence you in your earlier stages in your career, or did um, you? Is, some, is it something like you always wanted to do? You know. Uh, it was just something I, I picked up when I was just, I would go from playing basketball to playing the drums and, right. you know, to we just at home chilling or at my cousin's house right. chilling and, and they got studios, you know right. what I mean? And, and as kids, we just learned how to use the equipment. Right. Uh, you know, I already knew how to sing and it just, songwriting really came out of nowhere 
But as a kid, I remember uh, antagonizing my mother with the song she would love to hear, right. and I would change the lyrics. Yeah. And so, you know, back then, I guess I started writing back then, you know. <laughs> but um, it was just something that, you know, I guess God just wrote it for my life to right. do. And uh, I, it wasn't something I woke up and said, I want to be a songwriter. Mm. You know I, mean? I want to be a vocal producer or a right. producer or artist. I actually wanted to be maybe a drummer or something, you know, something different. But right. When you know you got to give the people what you ask, what absolutely, they ask for. Absolutely. And, you know I've been touring for years, and and over the over the years people ask for the records, people ask for the Lonnie Burrell yeah. records. And, yeah, you got to give them to them. So, yeah. Now, so we talk about the Lonnie Burrell records. Now, what, what's coming on next? What's what's some new music we can expect from you? Man, some more babies being made. Uh oh. Yeah, <laughs> uh, no, it's it's real R and B music, and right. uh, with this project, I really wanted to help people that want to be in a relationship right know how to get through the obstacles right and even in the, the different emotions and you know the different setups and distractions and how private it needs to be you know just the my album is if you can't say it to your girl just press play mm. whatever you trying to say if the girl can't say it then just press play my music gonna help relationships oh all right so valentine's day right around the corner so yeah. they need to pick up your album they want to learn something real quick yeah. So, so um, your new project, how does it show your growth from when you first dropped your debut album back in 2010, The Love Train? Um, with this album, I, it's a little more edgy. It's a little more edgy? Yeah. Okay. Um, it's not so, it's not, it's not, I'm not like overly singing. You right. Know what I mean, it's a little mixed with hip hop, you know right. what I mean? Some of the cadences of today's music and uh, right. of course I'm singing where need be and right. doing some things that nobody else can. But <laughs> um it's it's uh it's definitely more edgy. It's got a new sound. I call this sound the Alonzo sound. You know what I mean? Oh. You know, y'all so used to Lonnie Burrell like singing, singing. You know, really yeah. singing. This is more younger. The music is younger and, and uh, it's more fun. Okay, sure. so um, collaborations. Who are you working with? Mm. You want me to get that away? Uh, I mean, just a little, little snippet. Yo, I mean, if you can, if yeah. you can. Just... Well, I, I well I tell you, what, you saw the show tonight. Yes. And, you know, we got one with Snoop. Right. And um. Uh, Ty Dollar Sign. Nice. Uh, we're working on that, and, and I've just been thinking. I didn't really want to do too many features. I know over the years I've done a lot of that. You know Absolutely, what I mean? Absolutely, um, yeah. And I just want to stay, show people that I can stand on my own too. And, and right. of course, show the collaborations will never you. stop. But, right, of course. Uh, I had to make my own identity at this point. Absolutely. And so, uh, you know, I'm, I'm trying. I'm strategically picking the features, but I almost don't want them. You know what I mean? So, right. But uh, we definitely will have some of my friends on there. You know what I mean? Nice. I can't get away with it without it. You know what I mean? Awesome. And um, you're in talks of signing with some major labels. I'm talking about Capital. I'm talking about Sony. Like, let's touch up on that, man. Hey. Like, how does it feel to be, like, finally in talks with the with the majors? Well, you know, over the course of my career, it's happened before. You of know, course. I've, I've been at a home before. And, right. Um, you know, it's always exciting for the majors to be looking at you for Absolutely. you to be on their radar right. uh respectably man it's, that's that's what sure that you're doing something that's sure yeah, that they really yeah, listening to yeah, you it's you tough actually. to sleep at night when you you know you wonder wh wh which way will i go uh, what's Absolutely. the best home yeah. who's going to support me who believes in me um i'm always do my part wherever right. i am and uh you know i'm just praying about it man we'll see I feel like we LeBron James. You, I feel like LeBron James is like I'm a free agent and they just waiting to see where I'm gonna right, take my talents right. to. I'm announcing, <laughs> but uh, no, nah, I'm looking forward to wherever the home is. Uh, respect to all the majors. You know? Right. So um, I just want you, Lonnie Burrell, if you could describe yourself as an artist in one word, what will it be? Hmm. <laughs> Unstoppable. Oh, explain. I've had a lot of haters in my life. Right. A lot of no's. Right. A lot of people that just didn't believe. Right. And, um, you know, I've had people try to sink my ship. Mm. You know, uh, life is life. And we all have our lessons. But you never understand that you, you have a big heart and you're surrounded by people that you love, but they actually are envious of you and jealous of you. Oh, that's so true. And want the spot. And Absolutely. And they, they try to, you know, they're around you enough to see your flaws and then they take those back to other people right and, and try to destroy your character and this industry is very sensitive and uh you know uh i'm unstoppable man right like people have tried to stop me my whole life and um 
They just they can't do it. They can't do it. Yeah, you know what I mean, listen. Honestly, you just gotta. You gonna have those people who's gonna come in your life, try to like shut you down and like you know bring that negative energy. We just keep, yeah. keep on floating like you're doing, brother. Because yeah. we supporting you. The I, people I really out here in New York it, is supporting Thank you. you. Man, music exclusives is supporting you. <laughs> I, I you, you got I feel the love. <laughs> I feel the love, man. I appreciate music exclusives. New York was so great to me tonight, man. Yeah, and, man. They definitely and, appreciate it. I just feel the warmth. You know what I mean? It's love that I needed to feel. You feel me? I'm just looking forward to. Coming back, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, it's going to be fun. <laughs> well, yeah. thank you so much for taking time out to speak with us thank tonight. Thank you, man. Thank <laughs> Again, this is your boy, Araldo Austin. With my boy over here, the talented yeah, yeah. Lonnie Be Real. And thank you for watching Music Exclusives TV. Again, make sure you guys go ahead online and hit that subscribe button on YouTube. Until next time, y'all.